and welcome to Ganesha's new channel. So today in this video, we are going to discuss a question based on Fourier series. You know what is Fourier series? Uh, any series in the form of sine and cos term, right? And it has three constants, Fourier constants, A0, A and Bn. You can watch the introductory video um, which I have made uh, so far and you can check that out. It will make it easier to understand today's topic. However, I am enclosing some of the introductory details here as well. With this video, I am telling you those things. So, first of all, let's have a look on the question. You can see that you need to prove this function should be equal to this when your interval is from minus pi to pi and then you have to show that sum of 1 upon odd number square is equal to pi square by 8. Alright. So how we can do so? Can I ask you how you can calculate A0, An and Vn? So the formula is for A0 it is 1 by pi integration your interval which is minus pi to pi fx dx. Right? So you can see your your function is x square here, okay? So x square dx. Now, this is x cubed by 3. You know how to integrate it? Now, limits minus pi to pi and 1 by pi is as it is. So 1 by pi, upper limit minus lower limit. Pi cubed by 3 minus lower limit. So minus pi cube, which will make it plus pi cube by 3, right? So 1 by pi, 2 pi cube by 3. That means 2 pi square by 3, this is your A0, right? So your A0 is 2 pi square by 3. Now, coming to the point An, your An is 1 by pi minus pi to pi fx cos nx dx, right? Now, your fx is x square cos nx dx. How you can integrate it? You can see this is the product of two functions. So, you can apply I late by parts. So, this is inverse, logarithmic, arithmetic, trigonometric, exponential. So, this is algebraic or arithmetic, uh, I mean algebraic and this is trigonometric. So, algebraic should be first. This is second function. So, the formula is like, let me tell you remind you this thing. If this is first, this is second, what you need to do? First function as it is, second integration minus first function derivative. Now whatever you have formed, let me write it like v1, okay? First function as it is, integration of second minus first function derivative, integration of this one plus again differentiation of this Again, integration of this and this will go on like minus plus minus plus. Okay. Now, uh, first function is this. So, first function as it is, second integration. So, for cos x, it would be sin x, and for nx, you need to divide with its derivative. So, n. Right? Then, after minus first function derivative 2x and integration of this. So for sine, for sine it is minus cos, right? So minus, let me write it here, minus cos nx pi, again n, and it will form n square. This was plus, this was minus, and then plus. So differentiation of this, which would be 2, and integration of this, so minus sine nx upon n, which would make it n true, right? And the limit goes from minus pi to pi, right? Then after, you cannot take it further because now the first function is 2 and differentiation of 2 would be 0, which will make any further a term as 0, right? Then after, so x square sine nx by pi, I mean n, minus minus plus 2x cos nx by n square minus 2 sine nx by n cube, right? Now upper limit minus lower limit. So if you see 
this is if you put pi pi square sine n pi by n plus 2 pi cos n pi by n square minus 2 sine n pi by n cube minus of lower term so minus pi square will be plus so pi square sine minus n pi you know sine minus theta is minus sine theta and cos minus theta is plus cos theta right so on putting sine my n minus pi it would make it minus sine so minus minus plus thereafter okay let me write it like this okay so that uh, signs will not be confused thereafter minus 2 pi cos n minus pi which will be cos n pi minus 2 sin n minus pi minus minus plus 2 sin n pi by n q right and let me take it as curl braces okay thereafter what you can take you know what for values sin n pi multiple of pi for sin is always zero okay and multiple of pi in terms of cos is minus 1 raised to power n okay and cos in even multiple 2 n pi 4 n pi 6 n pi is always 1 so remember these things so this is n pi sine in n pi will be 0 so this is 0 this is 0 these two term will be 0 so what you have got 2 pi cos n pi by n square minus my oh this is 0 so minus minus plus 2 pi cos n pi by n square and that is 0 ok so you can see 2 pi 2 pi 4 pi ok pi is cancelled with pi and you can write as cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n 4 by n square right so this is your a n let me write here this is your a naught now your a n is minus 1 4 into minus 1 raised to power n by n square okay now in terms of b n what's the formula for b n similarly just as you did in a n 1 by pi minus pi to pi f x sin n x dx okay so minus pi to pi fx is x square sin nx dx right now you can see don't elaborate it first of all check it out whether your resultant function will be an odd function or an even function okay so how you can check it for you you see if this is your function right now x square sin nx if you put minus value so minus x square would be x square sin minus nx will be sin nx because function on putting negative value in function you have got negative of that function right so this is odd function if you would have only x square and now if you put minus x then again minus x whole square would be x square so that is even so I am telling you one more thing which is very important it is all cumbersome ok let me write it here for minus a to a fx dx if the limit is minus pi to pi minus 2 pi to 2 pi minus a to a and your function is odd then that would result into 0 and if you have minus a to a fx dx so if your function is even then it would be 2 times from 0 to a fx dx alright so you can see because your function is odd because it results into negative sign 
So that means odd function minus a to a would be 0. 0 multiplied one by pi is 0. Okay. Now for this question, your value for x square, you know the formula for expansion of Fourier series? Let me grab a test job. So So, formula is fx is equals to a naught by 2, sigma n is equals to 1 to infinity, an cos nx plus sigma n 1 to infinity, bn sin nx. Alright? So, you can see here, what's the value of a naught? This is function x square. a naught is 2 pi square by 3. So 2 pi square by 3 by 2. So 2 will be cancelled. So you have got pi square by 3. Plus sigma n is equals to 1 to infinity. An is an is this. 4 minus 1 raised to the power n by n square. This is cos nx and bn is 0. So leave it. Now this is your x square, right? What you can do here is this is what we have to prove. We have got it here. Right? You can take 4 out because you will not expand the 4 sum because it has it doesn't have n power. So 4 would be constant here. And this is the exact term which you need to prove, which you were supposed to prove. Now from this you need to find out this. How you can do so? Let's say if you put x as pi. Okay? If you put x as pi, so what will you will get? Pi square, pi square by 3. If you open this, 4 minus 1, okay, let me write it down. Minus 1 is pi n, cos n, x is pi, pi n square, right? Now expand it. Pi square minus pi square by 3, 3 minus 3 minus 1, 2 pi square by 3, 4. Now expand it. This is summation, right? So how you can evaluate summation? So minus 1 raised to power, firstly 1, cos 1 pi by 1 square. Plus all the way summation from 1 to infinity. Minus 1 square cos 2 pi by 2 square minus 1 q cos 3 pi by 3 square and so on. Right? Then after, if you take 4 here, so pi square by 4 here, 4 times 3 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12. So pi square by 6, now here, minus cos pi, minus 1 odd power, is having odd power, so minus pi 1 square, this is plus cos 2 pi, 2 square plus 1 cos 3 pi, 3 square, right? Is it correct? Now, you know, I have told you that cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n, right? So, if cos n pi is minus raised to power, minus 1 raised to power n, so you can write it here, because this n is 1 here, so 1, cos 2 pi is always 1, cos 3 pi minus, minus 1, right? So you have got this as minus plus minus plus, right? So this is your form when you have got, see, I'm telling you again, this is minus 1 raised to power 1, which should be minus, right? Cos pi is also minus, so this would be 1. This is minus 1 square, which would be 1. Cos 2 pi is 1. Minus 1 cube is minus. Cos 3 pi, cos 3 pi minus 1 cube, again minus minus plus. So all the terms would be in positive. So this is your first expression. Okay? Have you got it? Thereafter, if you, you have put your x pi, now if you put x as 0. So x as 0 means 0 pi square by 3 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity. Let me take out 4. Minus 1 raised to power n by n square cos 0 is 1. Now expand it, take it here, minus pi square by 3, 
4 as well. So 4 times 3 is 12. Now open it. Minus 1 raised to power 1 by 1 square. Minus 1 raised to power 1 by, sorry, 2 by 2 square. Minus 1 raised to power 3 by 3 square and so on. Right? So this is minus pi square by 12. Minus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 2 square. I'm sorry, this is 1 square. Minus 1 cube by 3 square and so on. Right? So you can take it like. Make it positive, pi square by 12, 1 by 1 square, minus 1 by 2 square, plus 1 by 3 square. I uh, multiply both sides with minus. So minus minus plus, minus minus plus, plus minus minus, okay. Now you have got two expression, but you want this 1 square, 3 square, 5 square. So how you can do so? Let me see, if you add first and second, so, if you add first and second, what you have got? What you will get on adding first and second? You have got pi square by 6 plus pi square by 12. Let me grab another marker so that you will be able to see easily. So, pi square by 6 plus pi square by 12. If you add these two, so 2 times 1 by 1 square, then after this will be cancelled, then 2 times 1 by 3 square, similarly 1 by 5 square and so on, right? Now add these up, so 12, 2 and 1, 3 pi square equals 2, well, you have, okay, 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus so on. So if you take this 2 downwards, so you can see 3 times 4 is, so it would be pi square by 8. You can see what we have got. Pi square by 8 equals 1 by 1 square, 3 square, 5 square. And if you apply induction here, what? Induction, so you can see, if you put the value of n as 1, so 2 times 1 is 1, sorry, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1, 2 times 2, minus 1, 3, 2 times 3, minus 1, 5. So this can be written as summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by 2n minus 1 minus 1. I hope you understand. This was a lengthy one, but um, I think if you know how to find out for your constant, how to integrate by parts, by partial, anything can be given by partial fraction, then you can easily grab it. Try to do some more questions and I hope you understand this topic and if so then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.